How are you guys doing? This is Ryan, welcome back to the channel. I wanna talk in this video about the wealth tax. And is it a good thing? Is this what government should be doing? Or is this a bad thing? And why are governments even considering to do it? Like we've never done this historically. Why are we doing this new tax experiment on people? And I'll give you some historical reasons to understand why this is occurring and why this drives me into things like cryptocurrency and also looking at expatriating one day. Uh, even though I, I love my life here in America, but there's, there's a lot of cool things that are gonna happen in our lifetime in the future and I'd love to be a part of it, and why I'm disappointed to see something like a wealth tax. Let's jump into it. So yeah, what is a wealth tax? A wealth tax is being proposed by Congress, and it just got shot down, thankfully, but I think it's not gonna uh, go away forever. It'll probably be one of these things that you hear about for the coming election cycles until they eventually get it, I think. We'll see. But the wealth tax is a tax that will tax your estate. So they're saying it's only the rich people, right? Only the rich people are the ones that are gonna pay a tax on their estate. And they will pick that number. They'll say billionaires, they'll, they'll pick a number that seems out of reach for most people that actually vote. This is how you get, you know, democracy or in a democratic process to, you know, take from people. De democracy is often mob rule, right? If, if I can get the majority to think one thing, you know, I can punish the minority. So you take these rich people in this scenario, and I'll talk about why I'm concerned about it always just being the rich people, but we'll touch on that in a second. So if their wealth grows and they don't realize the gains, so for example, if their real estate goes up by $100,000, they will have to pay taxes in their tax bracket even though they haven't made the money yet, they didn't sell the property, they still will have that tax liability. Same thing with stocks or cryptos. If their wealth grows, they will have to pay tax on it, even if they didn't convert anything to cash and realize gains, because again, the market could shift the other way. And of course, if the market shifts the other way, I believe they would get a tax deduction. That I have to confirm. So they're aiming only the rich people, but this historically was the case on how we got federal income tax, right? When the government first proposed federal income tax in 1913, they were only taxing, I believe, five or 6% of rich people's income, right? And of course, we know how that played out historically. You and I both work, you know, three, four months a year just to pay the government. Everyone does. And, and some people who make a lot of income pay a lot more. And I think we should look at trends. I talk about investing a lot of trends, like this trend is likely to play out in the future as the empire looks for more ways to get resources to, to stay in power and whatever they want to do, keep, you know, whatever influence they have to give to whoever they owe some kind of debt to, right? Like that's, government is the monopolization of force that can create outcomes. So that's something to be concerned about. And I th why I'm really disappointed in it is because the government is, is going to this because what they did in 1971 is they destroyed like half of the population that didn't invest or like kept their money into dollars, right? The dollar used to be linked by gold, so everyone kind of held gold. So you could, you know, live a good standard of living even if you weren't like a savvy investor, right? Because you were linked to gold. And this is how like back in the day, you could have someone who worked just an average job, you know, have his wife stay at home and have four kids and even send someone to college and buy a vacation home because they had good purchasing power. But what they did is they delinked the dollar from gold and they printed a ton of money and they destroyed the average man, in a sense. So you had this wealth gap that occurred exponentially since 1971, and people who were more privy to this moved their money out of dollars into assets like real estate, like stocks, or they bought businesses, or in today, cryptos, cryptocurrencies. So they have destroyed the part of the population that didn't want to be necessarily market people or investors that just want to live their life with a sound currency. And that's why today you have most you know, households that have two incomes and you know, college is a lot more expensive and people borrow money to go to college and do all these things is because they lose purchasing power over time. So people don't have great stores of value and they hold on to dollars and they don't really gain too many assets and everything else goes up in cost like college, that's why you have such high college debt. There's such high debt ratios because that's the only way people, people can get access to resources. So what you're seeing in a sense here is that they've made owning the dollar a liability. And now what we're seeing is they're making being an American citizen a liability. Of course it hasn't passed yet, but I think it's something to be wary about. And I think it's something to consider looking at new frontiers, looking at societies that respect uh, just understanding economics better, uh, that values economics. Like we don't know these things or we don't, we're not thoughtful about economic history and what's happening 
happen because you know we get shoved into public education that maybe design doesn't want to give you access to these types of resources. So yeah, tell me what you think. Do you think I'm crazy that uh, being an American citizen is becoming a potentially even bigger liability and are there better frontiers out there? I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. To stay tuned for future content, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and tap that notification bell so YouTube notifies you every time I upload a video. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up so more people can see it. And also follow me for daily content on Instagram. My handle over there is rgiffin89. Also look out for uh, noise.cash. Noise.cash is a platform built on top of Bitcoin Cash. You can follow me there, Ryan Giffen too. So look for ways to get out of the dollar, use cryptocurrencies, helpful ones like Bitcoin Cash, and uh, consider where you wanna live and, and how you're treated by those governments. And uh, what do you think about the wealth tax in general? Let me know in the comment section below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Sissy, you done?